as far as Baylor TCU goes, this probably isn't the rivalry game that we expected at the start of the season. Uh, perhaps it's fitting that it will be called the Blue Bonnet Battle because these two teams have been frolicking in the flowers <laughs> instead of punching people in the mouth. How about that? There it is. <laughs> uh, TCU, of course, coming off of a surprise appearance in the national championship game last year. But Sonny Dykes' team is four and six this season. They've lost their last three games in a row. Meanwhile, Baylor, two years removed from a Big 12 championship, is a woeful five and seven, really a mess, uh, incapable of reaching bowl eligibility after that loss to K-State. So is there any reason at all to even watch this one? And can you please explain to me why <laughs> I am going? Well, that, I mean, I've I've honestly never been to uh, the M and G Carter Stadium, but the mm -hmm. press box food must be amazing for you to make that <laughs> drive. You know, uh, so you'll whatever. But uh, I mean, looking back at this rivalry, you know, really for the last decade, right? It seems like no matter where these teams are record wise, this has been a really good game, right? So, like, mm -hmm. I think of last year, like TCU was undefeated Baylor was kind of trying to get to a bowl game and it's kind of comes down to a last second kick right yeah you know so it, it like, came down you... to a fire drill field goal <laughs> right, right. Uh, so like yeah it was you know, incredible if, if you're a fan of football and you want to watch a good game historically this game has been really good so like you know that's I think for me that's reason enough to watch the football game you know aside from you know, the rivalry and the history and whatever you want to call it, blue bonnet battle, mm -hmm. revivalry, uh, what's the other, Kalachi kerfuffle, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> you know, uh, the rivalry, the history is there. And like I said, it's been a good game. So that's that's what I'm looking forward to is just yes, a, maybe uh, a more competitive game. It, it has been in recent years. TCU has had the upper hand. Uh, right, right, what is right. It? I want to say seven out of eight. Is seven that right? Seven out of eight. Yeah. Baylor's uh, only win was a triple overtime win though so like yeah uh <laughs> well i've seen some crazy ones absolutely uh so um going back before the seven out of eight of course baylor fans will love to recall 61 to 58 one of the all-time <laughs> great games maybe in baylor football history bryce petty led them back like lazarus i mean it was it was unreal um game winning field goal uh, we told you earlier this week that the next year uh, Baylor really trolled TCU by lining up numbers 61 and 58 together in the uh, just just a coincidence, right? Huh? Just a, co just a just coincidence, a coincidence right? yes. <laughs> uh, you mentioned last year and the way that one played out. Um, the triple overtime one may have been uh, I'm trying to remember now if that's the one, but I think it was that had some of the worst weather I've ever seen. Okay. Uh, it was uh, just uh, basically a typhoon. Um, guys were sliding all over the place. I mean, it was, it was a real mess. Um, so yeah, there's always weird things happening. Uh, um, last year would last year have been the first time without Gary Patterson or was that two years? Yeah. That that was last year, yeah, because he last year was Sonny Dyke's first year, so right. But was... I think actually, two I think it was two years ago because uh, I think they got rid of Gary right before oh. the Baylor game, and at that game, uh, I spotted a Gary Patterson look alike in the stands, Ooh. and that was weird. <laughs> like it, <laughs> it, it felt like Gary was there, <laughs> like was watching he... the game. Was he recording it for his future job with the Longhorns? You know, like the Connor Stallions before Connor uh, Stallions? There was just, there's been a lot of weirdness in this rivalry. <laughs> and I don't really expect that to change. Who knows right. what will happen on on uh, on um, Saturday. But uh, I used to watch Big Brother, that show. And one of their mottos was expect the unexpected. So I'm expecting the unexpected. Is that why you're going? What are you looking forward to? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going because it's 90 <laughs> minutes up the road and, <laughs> and you know, that's what we do. <laughs> you can stop at the check stop. That's a, that's a, that's bummer. right. And uh, <laughs> we'll talk more food later, but 